remember the water edition that Salesforce standardly offers. So you have like unlimited enterprise, professional, and essentials. So essentials is a cheaper cost of edi um, cheaper edition, and we'll have very limited access. If you just look at uh, the basic things, also you will just get a Salesforce mobile app. Other than that, and not only these changes. So if you expand below, there are a lot more features where you can observe. So in the real time, what you will be fall into was you will be like uh, learning the course and you will get to know, okay, these are all the features and all. But when you are in a real time project or you were in a project or you were hired in a company, then you, you might be a situation some of the features are not available. Some of the features are like not same as where, what you learn in your developer edition. So you should not be surprised. Okay, so first thing you have to do was whenever you have a login from any of your company, so you have to check the company information, the initial one, where you can find what is the edition that uh, the company has purchased. If it is enterprise and unlimited, you don't see much surprises. But if you see essentials or a professional, you definitely see a really drastic change to the UI or the options or the features available. It's, it's, it will really surprise you. So you have to be always uh, come to your company information and check the edition. And if you are not seeing it's enterprise or unlimited, uh, there are like so many editions. I mean, other than this, they are like very popular things. But other than this, there are some other editions as well. So don't be surprised and just uh, go to Salesforce documentation, and you will have a comparison like that. Okay, uh, and you have to go like what are the feature you are looking for, and whether is it, it is available or not in that edition. Okay, and uh, something if some of your lead or manager asking for something. Okay, you should have a proof of a document to show, okay, this is not supported for this edition. Or you have to buy a feature license or you have to go for different editions to um, make use of the standard Salesforce feature. Or we have to think about any workaround solutions. So that's the background why I am giving um, what editions here. And it's similar to the license. So. Uh, what we're trying to explain here was what are the Salesforce features available? There are like a different levels of or trimming of like uh, controlling them. So one is like from Salesforce side when they're selling, they'll control from the editions. So what are the editions you are taken? Based on that editions, you have the restrictions or limitations based on the price you pay and uh, what you get. Okay, so that's the, from Salesforce side, how you're like, you're not even see your new org from Salesforce itself, it will be controlled. And after that edition, based on the edition, you will be having a licenses. So if you have taken a professional edition, and even though if you purchase a Salesforce license, it doesn't mean uh, you will have full access. So the Salesforce license is full access to the edition that you have taken. So oh, once you take an edition, apart from the Salesforce edition, uh, I should I show you some other platform, and chatter free and customer community licenses. Those communities are again uh, drilled down or like uh, again they will uh, narrow down your features. That means that that's ha I mean that you will have a control on that. Uh, so you, that's your org. Salesforce has con already controlled using the edition. So now you have co your control. That means your organization, let's say if you take an enterprise or professional. So you have full features now. Uh, all full features are available only in a Salesforce license. But you have other licenses as well where you will be not paying for them. Not paying for them means if it is provided free from a Salesforce, it's kind of a, what we can say complimentary from a sales force. Very few licenses you will get. And if you feel instead of Salesforce license, the other licenses are benefit to me, or like is enough 
to fulfill my application then you can ask salesforce the more licenses which is not salesforce but cost is not definitely the same as a salesforce license it will be cheaper than this that will be we'll get to know when we have a discussion with the salesforce on that okay so um here i want you to remember the editions when we are saying editions more specific to the names of edition that will really help you not only the editions whatever we discuss in this course try to remember exact names of it when you say editions okay these are the editions license uh, remember click if you have more licenses like hundreds of licenses don't remember everything but just remember like a few of them okay salesforce platform charter free standard user like whatever the uh, you see like more number of licenses or like when we discuss in the, I mean, in the coming sessions what we discuss more in the licenses part try to remember the exact names of the licenses okay uh, any questions here i'll just move on yeah i have a quick one bala so yeah. at any given time so uh, for example my organization is unlimited and at any given point of time i want to downgrade mm -hmm. my uh, license okay we can always do that yeah we can always do that the only thing was so uh, when we um, downgrading the editions so suppose if we have done some um, things which are available in the uh top version or like unlimited and you when you're downgrading the edition if you are losing that features you have to make sure that you're not losing any of those features mm -hmm. so when you say features mm -hmm. uh, let's say when you say unlimited to enterprise only the thing was 24 by 7 support and there will be some um the space issues like when unlimited edition based on a license, you may you might get some uh, space. I mean, the storage, uh, data size and storage size. Mm -hmm. It might impact that sizes as well. Okay, so if you are not really using that much of space and you are not taking really that uh, support from a sales force, and then definitely you can downgrade to enterprise and you can do a cost cutting. Let's say if you are downgrading from enterprise to professional, then there will be a huge impact. Like you don't see so many features are not available in professional. And let's say in enterprise, you don't have a limit to the number of license you take. But in professional, it will be a single digit or max 25, not more than that. So in there, like you cannot downgrade. They have like some limitations. See, mm -hmm. if you're using unlimited enterprise and you are taking just two or three licenses and it is not really um, a best option there. So obviously we have to switch to professional or essential. Or like we have to uh, think in other way around. So we are getting more features. It's just uh, less licenses. It doesn't matter when you are like, um, um, what we can say, your features, the mainly you are targeting with a different even though you are paying only two licenses you have taken a different license not a salesforce like uh, force.com or app builder licenses where you are not paying full so you are um, paying for a, a complementary or a subsidiary a license where which will have um, which you will getting at a cheaper cost than a salesforce license so that there are so many considerations you need to check. So what are the major licenses we are using in your edition and whether Salesforce will give you with a different edition or not. If you are not really using the features of your edition, definitely uh, you can downgrade or upgrade your editions, even though if you already purchased one edition. Is it answers your question, Madani? Oh, sorry. Yeah, it does. Thank you. Okay. Okay.